IPC today, we are doing this worksheet, which is basically um, you assessing yourself on what you've learned, what you know, okay? So it's climate change, three, two, one, three things I have learned about climate change, and then two questions I have about climate change, and finally, one opinion I have about climate change. Now, in order to answer these questions, you should look back at these fact cards that you read before, okay? I will get uh, one of you to read the fact card, each fact card, I mean. Oh, let me zoom in so you can see it a bit better. Uh, okay, yeah. So, uh, I'm just one person. Reducing my waste and being more green won't make any difference, says Peter. It's up to governments and big companies. That's the only way to help stop global warming. Okay, and then discuss, do you think Peter is right? Explain your reasons. Um, number two, reducing your waste is a good way to help stop global warming. Discuss what else can you do to be more environmentally friendly. Number three, greenhouse gases occur naturally, so it doesn't matter if we produce more. Without them, Earth's temperature would be minus 18 degrees Celsius, so greenhouse gases are actually a good thing, says Amy. Discuss, do you think Amy is right? Explain your reason. Number four, in Earth's history there have been several ice ages and times of warmer climate. Why do you think scientists are so concerned about current global warming? Number five, scientists estimate that the sea ice in the Arctic is melting at a rate of 9% every 10 years. Discuss, what impact do you think this melting will have both in the Arctic and around the world? Number six, greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide and methane. Some methane comes from cows burping and trumping. Discuss, do you think we should drink less milk and eat less meat? Number seven, a good way to slow down global warming is to use renewable energy, such as solar and wind power. Discuss, talk about what you know about renewable energy. Number eight, deforestation, large areas of forests being destroyed, contributes to global warming. Forests are sometimes cut down to make room for houses or factories. Discuss, what do you think is more important, houses and factories or trees? Number nine, scientists sometimes refer to Earth as the Goldilocks planet because it is the only planet in our solar system where the temperature is not too hot and not too cold, but just right for living things to survive. Discuss what animals can you think of that need to live in hot or cold places. Number 10. Lots of countries around the world have signed an agreement to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases they produce. Not all countries have signed up, though. Discuss why do you think some countries haven't signed up? Do you think they should be forced to? Number 11. Global warming causes extreme weather, such as hurricanes and tornadoes. Discuss if you were designing a house that was hurricane and tornado proof, what would it need to have? Right, so those are the cards that we like. So, these fact cards will help you answer this. Three things I have learned about climate change. So what have you learned now? I learned a few things from those fact cards. For instance, I learned that the Earth without greenhouse gases would be mi around minus 18 degrees Celsius. Our planet is in the Goldilocks zone. Okay, so uh, you know I'll just write floods. You can choose what other things, but um, then I'll also write about um, 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 greenhouse gases are the least and yeah, that's another one, yeah? So actually we've, we've learnt quite a few. Okay. She goes into the bear's house and she's eating the porridge and the porridge, which is, first she has a porridge which is too hot which is Daddy Bear's porridge, and then she has the porridge which is too cold. Obviously, there's different types of this story, but in the one story, she, she then has the porridge which is too cold, and then she has Baby Bear's porridge, which is just right, which is warm, which is our planet. And that's why it's called the Goldilocks zone. It's not too hot, and it's not too cold. Okay, oops, question mark. So, um... Yeah, so they're, they're two examples, but again, I want you to write your own questions. Uh, for example, my, my questions might be, is it possible for us to get back to our original temperature? Or how long will it take? So you, you are saying we should grow more trees and uh, buy more electric cars or use, yeah, use electric cars instead. Yeah, okay, that's a fair enough opinion, yeah. Um, in Ethiopia, yeah. One thing that would help in Ethiopia would be if you had more buses and trains because there are so many cars. If you had a public, more public transport, 